Rory, how did you assess tonight's performance? Um, it was uh, obviously when you're one nil down. If, if if someone had have offered you a point, you might have accepted it. But when we get ourselves in front going in the injury time, or we're, we're in injury time in the lead, then you're bitterly disappointed that you haven't come away come away with the three points. So um, from that point of view, very very frustrated that we haven't left here with three points, but also proud of the players' efforts. When you concede so late, you wonder, did tiredness come into it? You played on Friday and Rovers didn't? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, we we, we have to defend the back post better. We have to stop the cross initially um, and we're leaving with three points. But um, the players were very brave tonight. Um, obviously, there was a, a swirl on one, particularly first half. and Conditions were quite difficult at times. But um, to be fair, I thought both sets of players went, at it, went after the game and tried to win it. And, um, as I said, normally if you get a, a point in tally, it's not a, a it's not a disastrous result. But tonight, it certainly uh, feels a, a difficult one to take. You lost Will Patching late on, and you pulled up with an injury in the warm up. Did that affect how you you set up tonight? No, well, listen. Obviously, we <laughs> we uh, we started the game tonight without four central midfield <laughs> without four central midfield players, so it wasn't ideal. But Jordan McInnes an, an exceptional young player. We had a midfield two of McInniff and, and um, O'Reilly, so we, we're, we're blessed in that regard. We have really good options in that part of the pitch. So obviously we, we had a plan in place with Will on the team, um, but these things happen in football and, and Rovers have a fair share of injuries as well. Uh, so listen, we'll, we'll take it and move on. Thanks, Roy. Thank you.